Hi, welcome to my channel, Erin Sews. I'm Erin, and today I'm going to be talking all about sewing for babies. I'm going to start with the reasons I think you should sew for babies. If you're on the fence or if there's a baby in your life and you're not sure if they're worth sewing for or not, I'm going to give you some reasons that it is a good idea. Um, I'm going to go over the baby patterns I have and then the couple of baby items I've made for my daughter. So let's get started. The obvious negative of sewing for babies is that they are going to outgrow the clothes pretty quickly. Obviously much faster than if you sewed something for an adult. So that is the biggest negative of sewing for babies, but I think there are a lot of positives and a lot of benefits in sewing for babies. So I want to talk about those. First, it gives you an opportunity to practice skills. For example, one of the patterns I have, McCall's M7107, I'll pop a picture up here, is an easy pattern and it gives you an opportunity to practice a lot of things. This is the first garment from a pattern that I made and I got to practice, let's see, let me show you. This is what I made, it's a little bubble romper with ruffles on the sleeves. I got to practice gathering, understitching, slip stitching, ruffles, um, elastic and elastic casing, snaps, um, inserting a zipper. I don't know if I already said that. Inserting a zipper. So that is the first benefit of sewing baby clothes. I think it's great for beginners because you get to practice these skills. Another thing, the first time I did French seams, I did it on this little jumpsuit for my daughter because if I mess them up, I don't have to unpick that much. It's a lot easier than if I'm doing French seams on something for myself. And if I didn't quite trim it enough before I folded back the, um, the seam to sew it again, I have to unpick a lot more. So really beneficial to practice skills. The second thing, or the second reason that I think it's great to sew baby clothes is that the fit doesn't really matter all that much. Um, there are going to be exceptions, obviously. Some babies are really round and some are really short. For example, my daughter does have a pretty short torso. So I found when I sewed this, which is McCall's M8315 photo here. Um, the straps are just a little too long. Um, which I find a lot of ready to wear clothing for her too. She just has kind of a short torso and it's not bad. It just doesn't come up as high as it does on this baby. It's maybe a half an inch lower. Um, so next time I make this pattern, no matter the size I'm making it in, I will just shorten the straps a little bit because of her body. But other than that, like the fit isn't super specific. A lot. The third reason that I love sewing for my daughter and think you should sew for babies is you can use remnants, um, thrifted pillowcases, small pieces of thrifted fabric. So if you really like something, but it's not going to be enough to make even like a shirt or something for yourself, you can make baby clothes. The fourth reason that I think you should sew baby clothes is you can make modifications for fit if you do need to, if you have like a really cute chubby baby or a really long baby um, and you're struggling to find things that fit, you can make modifications. You can also make modifications for any medical equipment that the baby might need and for function in other ways. The is Simplicity S8894. The, the pattern doesn't have snaps in the crotch. That has no opening in the crotch, which kind of is crazy to me. Why would you make a baby pattern without an opening in the crotch? You have to change your diaper a lot, depending on the age. The fact that I could modify this pattern as I made the garment was really helpful. The fifth and final reason that I think sewing baby clothes is worth it is that you can pass them down. Um, we have three of these. I only have one to show you. The rest are in my daughter's room where she's sleeping. But these really cute little like overall romper things that were made for my father-in-law when he was a baby in the 50s. We think they were made by his grandmother. So my daughter's great great grandmother most likely sewed these for him 
you know, I just, as I'm making her clothes, I think about how much love was put into these for him. And it is awesome now that, you know, his granddaughter is wearing them. So that is just one of the really nice, like, wholesome aspects, I guess, of sewing the clothes. It's not just practical in the fact that you get to practice skills and fun in the fact that you get to pick the patterns and everything for the baby yourself. Um, but like someone down the line from you could also be wearing these clothes in the future, which is, I think, just really cool. So yeah, those are the five reasons I think you should sew baby clothes. If you're on the fence or if you're a beginner and you're not sure about it, um, I say go for it. I'm going to go through the baby patterns I have. I don't have a ton because they they tend to be pretty similar. Like there's only so many romper type things you're gonna make for a baby. A lot of bubble rompers, which I do love. So that's pretty much what I have. But um, also I'm not gonna make her a ton of clothes so I didn't wanna buy a ton of patterns. Um, just enough to get some practice in, make us some coordinating things is really my motive here and have some special outfits that we can remember. I've mentioned a couple of them already, but I'm just going to go through them all at once. I have McCall's 7107, which is uh, some rompers that have self-lined yokes, gathers, snap crotch, and back zipper. They have a couple of different embellishments. Um, some of them have these overlays and then little ties, ruffles, little pockets, and some ruffles. So they have different embellishments to them, but other than that, they're all pretty much just little bubble rompers. And I have uh, McCall's 8315. Oh, I don't need to hold it up. I'm going to insert a picture. <laughs> this doesn't have a description, but they are just bubble rompers. Once again, with different embellishments, um, these are just like straps. So there's a bow, some ruffles, a plain one, and then one that has little pockets and some top stitching that um, highlights the bib part. Then Simplicity 8894. This one is actually uh, Learn to Sew Knits. Um, I did not make it out of a knit. I made it out of that linen blend. So it worked just fine. It is a couple different little rompers and jumpsuits. This one I really liked because A and B both have this little like cute side tie, but then C and D um, are just like the more normal overall. Um, I think they're the same. Yeah, one just has a pocket on the front. Then I have two that I have not made yet. Butterick. 3405 is one of their nine so easy. It is a combination of just um, shirts, what is it? Dress, top, romper, panties, hat, and headband. So there are a lot of patterns in here. Um, I haven't made it yet because it's only a large and extra large, which all of the other baby patterns are like newborn through large, newborn through extra large. They have or extra, extra, small to large. They have, you know, all of the sizes you could want. Um, so I didn't notice that this was only large and extra large, which is why I haven't made it yet. And then the last one I have that I'm going to be making soon is New Look 6725. And it is this really cute, um, like shirt dress, shirt, and then shorts. So once again, another one that'll work. I'm holding it up. I'm going to put a picture. Um, another one that'll work if we have a boy. Next. Also, I can make my daughter the shirt and shorts combo because she is crawling and will be walking soon enough and um, dresses just aren't really practical for that. So those are the patterns I have. And then really quick, I'm just going to show the outfits I've made her. So this Girl. is the first thing I made. This is that um, M7107. So I did view E, which has ruffles over the shoulders. 
This is just a, I think it's a keepsake calico from Joann's and it's going to be great for the summer once she gets a little bigger and fits into it. I need to snip some threads. I clearly haven't quite finished it, but it's these cute little blue flowers, zipper in the back and then snaps at the bottom. Uh, also from that pattern, M7107, I made view D with the pockets from view F. So they're just little round bottom pockets, which was something I had not done before. I've done pockets, but I had not done a rounded bottom pocket where you sew basically a basting stitch and then kind of use that to help curve out the edges. They're not super symmetrical, which bothers me a little bit, but when you're wearing it and like flowing and she's crawling around everywhere, no one's going to see anyway. It has the contrast uh, of the yoke and then these little cat slates that are gathered. They're so cute. So cute. Next from McCall's 8315, I did view D, which has top stitching here and a little pocket. The pattern also calls for a pocket on the side, but um, I was showing it to my husband and we both decided it looked a little bit silly. I also did add these little sunflower buttons because I thought they were super cute. And then this was my first time using snap tape and I was not a fan. As much as I hate using like the pliers um, to install snaps, I really did not like working with the snap tape at all, at least not on this scale. Maybe that was the issue. Not a fan. Um, what I was a fan of is I practiced flat felt seams on this and I really like how it turned out. And then I used that skill I had practiced when I made myself a pair of coordinating shorts from the same fabric. So that is that little romper. And finally I have this really soft linen jumpsuit from Simplicity 8894. It has the little tie on top, um, which it's stitched in place here along the neck. And then this ties so you can get them in and out of it. And then, like I said, I did add snaps because that's just where we're at in life with her right now is we needed snaps. Um, it's still a little big for her, but we are going on a three week road trip this summer and it should fit her by then. And I'm hoping it fits her pretty well. I think it would be great for the car because it gives her a little more leg protection with the car seat straps that go um, across her thighs, but is a nice light breathable material. So when we get out of the car and we're in the heat in July and August, uh, it'll be breathable. But those are the four things I've shown my daughter so far. There are more coming because <laughs> it's fun to make something quickly. It's fun to make something that coordinates. I like sewing for her. That is all I have on the topic of sewing for babies today. Uh, let me know in the comments, have you ever sewn for a baby? What have you sewn? Um, what baby accessories have you sewn or would you recommend sewing? I know there are patterns out there for like swaddles, I guess they call them bunting, um, but swaddles and hats and all kinds of things you can do. So let me know what you think about sewing for babies. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.